Right, so today's video, I'm going off to see Mark Ball. Mark Ball is one of the smartest minds in golf coaching. What you're gonna see is quite technical stuff, but remember, these ideas that you see from great coaches like Mark Ball is what bleeds into what you see as basic um, kind of tips and stuff that you consume across the interweb. If you didn't have these kind of coaches, golf coaching would still be back in the archaic days of keep your head down and those kind of things. It's people like Mark that totally excite me and excite me to be the coach I want to be. And it's also why your tips and your quick fixes might even improve over years online, even though there's still plenty of rubbish ones out there. I love this. It was a great day. Mark tried to find me some extra yards. Let's show you how I got on. Just hit a couple of shots and just, uh, just do what you normally do. kind of natural shape I would like to see with an iron is pretty straight, maybe slight okay. fall off to the right. Okay. You can hit it, Mark, still. Yeah, I can, I... Oh, heely cut. Good, Mark. Yeah, that's the better out of the three. Good. Yeah. So let's think about distance, something I'm desperately always chasing just for fun, because it's something I never did as a golfer growing up. Um, we seen any holes? Yeah, I think movements? one area in particular, I think you could really start to expand to really kind of advance distance. So just, a lot of this would even connect back to say some of those kind of grand kinetics, the reaction forces yeah. that you'll look at, say through the plates that you use. So many as far as you look at real threads that can really display in many, many, certainly advanced players and some of the more longer players, is the idea of kind of the, 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 the thorax, the separation that kind of happens through that pelvis, lumbar spine, thorax. It's a well-told story. Okay. It's only part of the story. And we look at really, um, within the movement world of why people are very powerful and certainly so very elastic in how they move. Another add-on to that is actually the lateral separation. So in many ways, kind of using hands now, if I'm playing in that direction towards my laptop, how much the pelvis moves laterally towards the target, the hands move again laterally away. So we get that kind of lateral separation as we get that rotational separation. The add-on also being, which it gets really quite fun now, the hands go upwards in a way is right. the pelvis goes downwards in a way. So it's a bit of a two-dimensional yeah, yeah. separation well, between... three-dimensional, isn't it? It's actually four if you include yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So time being, so the, then you look at it, which we'll come on to in a second now that you and I, the time it takes to make that movement, yes. which is probably a nice place to kind of look at then. A lot of guys can move that way, probably you and I being very similar quite well, it's very delayed in that movement. Yeah. So we look at, for sure, we can get those lovely separations in that lateral, what's called the frontal plane separation. The pelvis can move down, the hands can move upwards. It's just a bit delayed in doing that. Yeah. So then you know, how usable those ground forces become. Um, well, they're delivered late almost. And so that's what I see on my plate at home. Right. So you're talking there about, so there's lots of talk about people trying to separate how much they rotate this half to this half. Yes. But you're also talking about how much they separate say hands this half to this half this way as well as that way absolutely rather right. than just thinking in a rotational yeah. form which is what maybe most common people are thinking about For like sure. x-factor stretch yeah and stuff absolutely like. right so you look at you go on to that you look at more the anatomy now that when we get these kind of lateral separations there can be no actual rotational separation but those tissues of the body being hugely lengthened still mm. as they rotate yeah I'm oh, sorry, as the segments separate laterally. So there's no evident change in rotation, but intrinsically in the body, there's tremendous rotational separations happening because of the change in position. Yeah. So what, what you described there so beautifully well was you have, or you, the, the idea of the X factor, as you say, yeah. is a rotational separation. This is more a positional change. Yeah. Yeah. What people might call the sway values, they say the pelvis versus to say the hands in this case. And what we see for me, as I presume, is that I'm just really late because I see it on my force plate. So my horizontal measurements on my force plate at home, I can get it up there, I can get it working, peaking, but I get it really late. Like it can be certainly first swings of the day, I can be literally still horizontaling as I hit the ball, basically. Absolutely right. So you can kind of look at that two ways, say, through some of the day to day. So just to really expand on really the real plot of interest. In fact, if we do it this way, it might be a slightly more realistic way of showing you, showing you this. The real plot of interest being the silver plot we have in the top right-hand corner. Yeah. It meant, including that's the elevation of the pelvis up and downwards. So we actually just kind of right-click now for it. We can give you a really good example of a really powerful 
um, um, okay. player. So, so I'm not sinking, am I? Doesn't go down soon enough well, and early I'm, enough. I'm sinking, but it's late and it's nowhere near as much as. And look at the spike on the sink. On Absolutely that. right. So it goes down sooner, yeah. comes up much more explosively, much more yeah. massive, a little bit more aggressive in that moving upwards. Yeah. So then we then start to look at, say, some of the real-time values then that you produce. So this sort of value here is called pH stretch. It's essentially the, the separation laterally between the hands and the pelvis. So if we kind of take you through to top of back, so I'm going to stop, just press address to kind of shorten the, the events for it. And this is an iron? This is the iron. Look at the drive in yeah. a second. So look at your top of back it, it value here. <laughs> it's, 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 you never know. I, I, It'll be relative. I live on the side of hope always, Mark. We never know. I'm, I'm, a, hope, I'm a hopeful optimist. Yeah. Anyway. So we've got a value, say, 40 centimetres there. As we start downwards, that value doesn't really increase tremendously. Maybe a slight. Whether this, whoever this is, I presume this is the tour player. Or yeah, that's actually a recent player. major winner, very yeah. powerful major winner. They're getting what into the Let, let's just say 60s. Cr let's just say crudely, they produce that 40 centimetre value there. And it wouldn't be unusual to start with a five and try and be almost a double-digit increase. Yeah. Oh wow! To yeah. give you, an, and that's even, that's realistic amongst many. Some guys are even into the teens, so yeah. to give you a sense of scale there. So, so we take you to that once again, you know, call it 40 centimetres, just around upwards, it's we move you downwards, only a really small increase of kind of just over really two centimetres. Yeah, I'm so. patting it. I am just being so yeah, safe. I am just, I want to deliver that club yeah. as neutral as I can, yeah. which I can do. But if we start thinking about separations, then I'm thinking, well, what yeah. about am I going to deliver yeah. the club? So I'm then, not saying that's not possible, but no. that's what my brain is thinking. Absolutely I can just right. see it in there. So then, it, then we look at how usable those ground reaction forces. Many guys produce great forces, but they're yeah. not usable. They don't get actually allowed to move into that club in that case. Yeah. So even if we now look at, say, a driver, if we look at the driver now for you, again, just to go to the top of that, so we stop. So I'm late again, but I do have a bit more of a peak in my brain. A little bit. A little bit, but we're actually looking at it in a bit more detail being as found in a second. It's so late. Look how close it is to the impact line where this one is like, I mean, he is flatlining at impact, isn't he? Pretty much. And we'll actually look at, a, I'll give you a very good example of a really powerful drive in a second as well. So again, 30 centimetres of top of back. So now as we start to move downwards, we then look at the driver name to give you a sense of scale on both. You can often see even 30 centimetres of shift there, change. Yeah. So again, it's only really about half that separation you're producing laterally yeah. and downwards. So to actually then look at the very good drivers, to give you a sense of scale now, we actually just add in an additional value for you. And we look at the pelvis up and down movement. So again, we just kind of take you through, take you through swing. We look at the really very, very explosive guys at impact. Typically, how much the pelvis can move up, you being um, the U sign defining up now, can be close to double digits again. Really? So they're really powerful guys. And we look at, in a very kind of um, singular plane, which we can never look at, but just to give you a sense of definition, when they elevate that pelvis and impact, it can get close to kind of nine, 10 centimeters upwards of elevation. So the real difference of you. So up as in up. You took the origin, the middle, you know, if you kind of look down from above. So you like cross sectioned in the middle. Right, the three dimensional center, the origin, the segment how much that middle, so in some ways kind of crudely, kind of up and above the, the middle of the sacrum. Yeah, so they're like, yeah. So it goes down sooner. Yeah. It comes up. So on the downswing, it goes down sooner and then gets out sooner. And, and then the more. response is then that creates more of a separation laterally between the pelvis and the hands. So when we look at, say, just the relationship between the pelvis and the hands, mm -hmm. they actually increase width. Yeah. How that's more commonly often called within, say, the kinetics is the hand path length would increase. Yeah, yeah. But then we look at it, well, how are they actually producing that increase in the hand path length? One very um, effective way, very um, advanced way of doing it is through what we've just described there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Need to try and do something with that then, don't I? <laughs> it's a good place to start. <laughs> so what kind of practical ideas, movement-wise, would change that? So John Travolta idea you just mentioned. Yeah, Tell look, us about that. So you look at the idea of, I'm showing my age now, Mark, the idea of satellite fever, yeah, literally from the hey, 70s. I've still got it. It's more my, well, I never had it, so you're one <laughs> up on me. But the idea of that kind of, you know, that lateral separation of kind of almost foot in hand, in this case, pelvis in hand. Okay. Fantastic. So when we look at then, more, more the, the anatomy, some physiology in some ways. So although there's no intentional oh, yeah. rotational separation, look at how those joints are being asked to move and how the tissues are being lengthened. There's tremendous length 
changes, length improvements, yeah. when there's a positional change. So I know it's not kind of this kind of stuff, which is more historical definition. Yeah, yeah. Kind of moving that way in transition through that whole system we have. Yeah. Real large changes in length still. Yeah. That kind of idea. Absolutely that. Yeah. Okay. That does feel. So even more active, I mean, push the hands more towards, in this case, the camera. The camera, yeah. So his pelvis towards the range, hands towards the, the camera. But to be really, really expansive, Mark, it's kind of pelvis down towards the range, hands up towards the camera. Okay, so it's more yes. like that way, isn't it? So it's kind of almost hands to the sky, hands to the camera, pelvis to the floor, pelvis to the range. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Like this is miss the ball kind of swing <laughs> forward. Well, hopefully it? not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we'll so. certainly give you one or two attempts. So I hit one? If you're happy. Um, let me hit one. I wouldn't say I'm happy. If you're clear in that case. <laughs> if you're clear. I'm clear. Oh, yeah, this is think. Oh, yeah. Think it. But even hands, I mean, hands, in that case, hands to the trees. Top yeah. of the trees with yeah, the hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go when you go. <clears throat> Good. Let's hit another one, or? Yeah, let's get a couple, just to, uh... Yeah, because I don't feel like that changed at all. So more hands up to the trees. Yeah. The pelvis goes down. Really actively good. I'll do one more. So swing two felt for my sanity. Like the pelvis went down. That was superb on that last one. It did feel like I pushed it down more. And I can feel that because my left foot snaps out. The ground reaction force like pushes back me. My lead foot jumps this way. Fantastic. Which is the feeling I get on my plate when I move that horizontal. I feel like I'm gonna like push the mat and knock my launch monitor over. So if I push this foot so hard down that way and that way, I hit it like that. Just, where yeah. naturally I feel like I'm hitting it so much more this way, you know, just laterally lining everything up. So two and three felt different. Number one didn't feel different. Okay. I often know feel doesn't mean anything, but what? Well, it, mean, but it means something to you. Yeah, but that's what I yeah. mean. I want to know how, this is what I love about technology, as I'm very good if you give me enough time at playing with whatever feeling it takes to move the graph. Yeah, yeah. If I can then hit the ball is a separate question. Yeah, absolutely right. It, it then becomes, is it meaningful and usable? Yeah. And we, we could all do this stuff here, but if this was, say, a, a club event at the weekend or with your friends or even an open championship, yeah. could you do that on a Sunday of an open? Exactly, yeah. It's a different discussion, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is the second swing on the right. Just yeah. look at that dip. It's still a bit late, but it's considerably more. It's like three times or double, is it not? Uh, pretty much, we'll look at that in a second, so. <laughs> so, there you go. so yeah, on, on the <laughs> left hand side mark kind of where you were now on the right hand side kind of where you were. So again, the plot of interest being the silver plot, quite clearly how much more you now move down. So to give you almost a numerical scale now, on the left we had that kind of downward movement of the pelvis of only really um, kind of a centimetre top of back swing. Now it's kind of four centimetres. We kind of move both those swings down simultaneously yeah. as we come downwards now. So we look at the kind of... Oh, it's so different. I mean, it's more than double the yeah, movement downwards. I can feel that. Which is when we then look at the peak elevation value, we start to kind of then look at you, the peak value producing elevation. It's still a bit late. Uh, a little bit late. But or not. Um, it's closer. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's late, but not as late. If I did move that earlier, in yep. theory, there's more chance of getting that energy out onto the ball. Is that the theory or I, not? 
I think that's a very accurate understanding. I think you realistically say you probably just need a few more balls to play with this. Yeah. Because you look at it. What do you mean two? And then I'm not. That's me. Done. I was literally walking May, my Tesla up, ready to go home. Maybe four. <laughs> Golf complete. But you look at it. <laughs> maybe four. Maybe four. You kind of got. You look at. This, you've probably got two of the three parts of the story in two shots. You look at the peak elevation value produced. How much kind of more? Is seven it? centimeters where it was previously kind of five and a bit. So that to move it that much is actually quite a considerable, significant And that's why I'm seeing the foot jump as well, Absolutely isn't right. it? Because I'm having Precisely. to get out of that hip or it's going to pop almost. Which is why it's like. called reaction force. It's yeah. responding to what? In this case, how the pelvis moves with intent as an yeah, intent move course. differently. So then you look at it, that's why it's called, it's not called kind of ground dominant force. Yeah. It's called that very for a reason. Yeah. You then look at, but I think where it's been a wonderful improvement already, you look at that kind of, that the movement downwards have kind of almost more than double. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Cause that's what double, that's yeah. what I love about measuring is that I felt that, and the fact that the numbers reflect that would then make give me more a, a surgeon to just keep doing that. You know, now I'm going to go right, get me to a range. I want to just keep increasing that and working on that. Uh, absolutely right. Absolutely right. So you then look at it over here now. We're going to show you a, a new plot name. So they're kind of these two kind of wavy plots. The blue plot was the, the kind of driver's thing at the beginning. The silver plot being the one we've just done. That's plotting in that kind of plot form at the separation between the pelvis and the hands in that lateral direction. Yeah. So what we had previously, when we look at the blue plot, was a kind of separation of drive of about 20 centimetres. When we look at the silver plot now, we now have a separation around about kind of 28 centimetres. So it's increased? Significantly. Yeah. Yeah, significant increase there. So again, you look at, in, in very realistic way, you've hit three or four balls there. Yeah, yeah. How much more you now move downwards, I mean, clearly more explosive how much more the hands are moving away from relatively the pelvis has moved down. I mean, again, an increase of kind of, whatever it is in percent, eight centimeters more. Um, I think that the add-on then becomes, over time, just allowing that pelvis to move up slightly sooner. Yeah. Uh, but to get two of those three in this, at this stage, is, that's a remarkable improvement already. Yeah, well, it, I have dabbled with this, just not with 3D sensors. I've I, we're seeing the same things that I yeah. see on my swing catalyst plate. Absolutely right. You're just interpreting them in a three-dimensional movement yeah. terms. I'm yeah. seeing them in a three-dimensional how I'm using the ground or not. Yeah. It's similar. It's just this is a more precise measurement of where this and that is going, as in in relationship to each yeah. other, which I love. It, 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 it definitely confirms most things I've been thinking yeah. on my plate. I think with the plates is understanding why the plate produces that value. Yeah. So again, it's called reaction force a reason, the key word being the middle, but their reaction. What's the player actually doing to produce those values? Yeah. It's the bigger, more, certainly more expansive approach there. So when we can start to improve how the segments move, the reaction, the response is there, and the ground forces will then improve, hence what you then observe through that lead foot. Yeah, I love that. That's really good. Should I try one with an iron? Absolutely. So you're going to try it or do it? I'm going to do one with an iron. Just do one. <laughs> so we're talking going down. Is the like a middle part in my inside of me? Is that correct? You basically measured the outside of me that allows you to plot the inside of me. Is that's that right. that's what you're doing? Yeah, that's exactly what it does. So, so I keep thinking of like left hip, but actually I'm trying to move. And that's where golf tuition has been so kind of well. You get so wrong. Is that I'm more traditionally thinking. If I get my left hip to go where actually it's you're not even measuring my I mean you're resulting left hip but you're really looking at a part of my body that golf tuition isn't really talking about very often. The whole pelvis, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, right. Yeah. Because as, as soon the as hands I move up to the sky. Say that again? As the hands move up to yeah. the sky. Yeah. So instantly with the eye, and it's interesting because I feel I've got no time to do it. Good. Yeah, and it's good. so interesting because the strike is so much better. That second one was good. As in, I felt like I did separate and move. If you look at that. And I notice it in the strikes. I play in a lot of time just finning the ball as I'm just like laterally moving, just yep. trying to straighten up face. And then when I'm warm and ready to go, I strike it much better. I feel like I am getting out of lead side. And to get out of lead side, I know I've mm. got to get into it harder, basically. That, that's, that's exactly it. You've got to get there first. So, Did we move or am I feeling what no, didn't happen? No, not at all. So what we have here, Mark, essentially on the left-hand image animation is where you were at the start and on the right-hand image is where you are now. The corresponding plots below 
the blue plot is now the new pelvis yes, movement good. up and downwards, the silver plot being where it was. So, so I'm can, doubling it again almost, and it's way earlier. It's, you can look at it, um, there's three very evident things we can extract from this. How much more you move downwards, so to give yeah. you a kind of a numerical value, more than double. Yeah. But that only tells probably a third of the story in some ways. It also goes down much sooner. Yeah, it does, really, doesn't it? Which then is a huge contributor to that separation laterally in the yeah. pelvis and the hands, which we'll look at shortly. Yeah, because obviously if I start coming down and put it down, it's basically moving almost together, isn't yeah. it? Where if I'm starting to push it down, as this is still going up and starting down, that's where you're getting, like you say, this. But I need to get these stronger, don't I? Ah, uh, but that we can come on to in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Body just a bit more involved, Mark, rather than stronger. Yeah, yeah, OK. You have them, just use them. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what we also have, when we look at where the blue one first goes above, the zero line is essentially start position. Yeah. It also elevates now much sooner. So it's now getting back out. And it also elevates much more. Like it, yeah. So there's kind of four sides, actually four, not three. It goes down earlier, it goes down more, it comes up early, it comes up more. Yeah. That's a cool place to be. So when we start to look at then how that relates to that separation of the pelvis and the hands, again, clearly that then allows you to move more in yeah. that kind of frontal plane separation. Yes, great. And that's what I'm feeling, which is what's so exciting. I love if I feel like I've done something and yeah. then I can quantify it with some reality yeah. rather than yeah. just some geezer behind me with hands in their pockets <laughs> going, that was a better shot. Well, it was a better shot, but well, it's, make, it's making great. it meaningful and relevant. Is that, is yeah. that meaningful relevance? It's factual, isn't it? It's actually what I'm doing. And if that quantifies to what I feel I'm doing, then I'm on the right track, aren't I? Absolutely. Brilliant. That's so good. Cool. There you go. That was Mark Ball. How fantastic was that? Seeing the world, obviously, in the three dimensions that we live in, even when it comes to body segment movements there, just gives you some great keys on why you start to see some of the movements golfers are having to make, to try and squeeze a bit more out of what they have got. Time for me to practice, I think. That wasn't easy.